Do you know that Excel can help you make conditional business decisions quickly? Rod here, and today we will walk you step by step through this powerful Excel formula called conditions if and and. Let's say you are a company manager and you decide to give a $500 bonus at the end of the year to members of your sales force who meet two conditions. Condition one, the employee's sales must exceed $4,000 in at least one quarter of the year. Condition two, the employee must have three or more years of service with the company. Here's your worksheet of years, service, and best quarterly sales data. First, let's check out the sales data. Place your cursor on the cell where you want the result to appear. Type in an equal sign. Then type in the command if. This tells Excel we're going to have to have a condition met to obtain the result. Now type in an open parentheses sign. This opens the formula area. Select the column that specifies the condition, which is column D5. Now place a greater than sign in the formula, which tells Excel that D5 must be greater than. Now type in the amount 4,000, which tells Excel the amount in D5 must be greater than 4,000. Type in a comma. Next type quotation marks before and after the word yes, which tells Excel to show yes if the figure in D5 is true. Now type a comma. Then type quotation marks before and after the word no, which tells Excel to show no if the figure in D5 is false. Now close the formula with a close parentheses sign, which tells Excel the formula is complete Press enter and watch Excel fill in all the answers. Now let's try the second condition, which is three or more years of service with the company. First, place your cursor on the cell where you want the result. Then type in an equal sign. Then type in the command if, which tells Excel we're going to have to meet a condition in order to obtain the result. Now type in an open parentheses sign. Then select the column which specifies the condition, which this time is column C5. Type C5 in the formula. Now type in a greater than sign and an equal sign, which means more than or equal to. Follow this with the number three, which is the number of years service. Now type a comma, and next type quotation marks before and after the word yes. This tells Excel to show yes if the information in column C5 is true. Then type in another comma, and next type quotation marks before and after the word no. This tells Excel to show no if the information in column C5 is false. Now close the formula with a closed parentheses, which tells Excel the formula is complete. Then press enter and watch Excel fill in all the answers. But what do you do if you want to see the result of both conditions combined together? Here's where you use the AND part of the formula. Here are the steps. First, place your cursor on the cell where you want the result. Write in an equal sign. Then type in the command if. This tells Excel to expect conditions in order to obtain a result. Now type an open parentheses and then type in the word and. This tells Excel that there are two conditions to be met. Type in another open parentheses. You do this because you're opening a new instruction. Now select the column which specifies the condition, which in this case is column C5. Now type in a greater than sign and an equal sign. This tells Excel that C5 needs to be greater than or equal to. Now type in the number three, which tells Excel the information in C5 must be greater than or equal to three years of service. Type in a comma and now select the column that specifies the condition, which is in column D5. Place a greater than sign to tell Excel that D5 must be greater than. Then type in the number 4,000. This tells Excel to know the number in D5 must be greater than 4,000. Now type a closed parentheses. This closes the instruction for and. Type in a comma. And now type quotation marks before and after the word yes. This tells Excel to show yes. If 
the information in both C5 and D5 are true. Next, type in another comma. And now, type quotation marks before and after the word no, which tells Excel to show no if the information in both column C5 and column D5 are false. Now close the formula with a close parenthesis, which tells Excel the formula is complete, then press enter and watch Excel fill in all the answers. Now you know that Excel can easily and quickly help you make business decisions using the conditions if and and formula. Please let us know if this video was helpful by commenting below. Be sure to visit burntolearn.com to watch other videos in our Microsoft Excel series. If you want or prefer personal coaching, click on our one-on-one -on -one coaching link. Also, please subscribe to Burn to Learn. Subscribing is free. And help us continue to offer our videos for free by clicking our Patreon link. And be sure to watch our next video where we will help you learn to use another powerful Excel formula.